Always approach a case with an absolutely blank mind. Form no theories, just simply observe and draw inferences from your observations. It's a quote from Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's fictional detective, Sherlock Holmes, but it certainly applies to how Tim Wilson approaches his work. No preconceived notions, just observations on how all the pieces of the puzzle fit together. You're given this puzzle, right? And we're given this puzzle that we're expected to put back together, but if you've ever put a jigsaw puzzle together, what do you do? Well, you dump out the pieces, and you put the box lid up in front of you, and you look at the picture, and then you take the pictures and you match it up. Well, in crime scene investigation, we don't get the lid to the box. Tim Wilson is the department head for Missouri Southern's criminal justice program, a position that allows him to share with his students the wisdom and experience gained from his background in law enforcement. Wilson started his career with the Neosho Police Department, moved on to become the chief deputy of the Joplin Police Department, and joined the faculty of Missouri Southern in 2015 when he accepted the position of academy coordinator at the same institution that gave him his training. It's the intersection of his two passions, education and law enforcement, that are driving his research into campus shootings. His doctoral dissertation looks at the overlap in how officers respond to incidents that occur in a higher education setting. He chose to focus on the response to the October 1, 2015 shooting at Umpqua Community College in Rosenberg, Oregon. A professor and eight students were fatally shot by a student who turned the gun on himself after a brief shootout with police. According to the Oregon State Police, there has been a deadly shooting. Of course, start with more breaking news of that mass shooting. It was over in a matter of minutes, but tonight, gut-wrenching survivor stories emerging from the deadly attack at that college in Oregon. One thing that officers hope they never have to respond to is a mass shooting event. Just a day after my initial interview with Tim Wilson, 17 people lost their lives at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Wilson says that he's learned how vital communication can be between a college or university and local law enforcement. One of the, uh, the implications that came from my research was the need for law enforcement and higher ed to work collaboratively together. I don't really suggest that you're ever going to stop them from happening, but it's more about what is it that the two um, sides can do to mitigate the loss that's, that's going to happen. So in, in essence, what, what my, one of my recommendations would be that that higher education reach out to law enforcement and say, here's our campus, here are the things that we have, um, here's the layout of the campus, help us understand what you're going to do when you get hit. And on the, same, on, the, on the other side of the thing, the law enforcement would do the same thing. Wilson's background in crime scene investigation recently led to him being contacted by producers for the TV show Reasonable Doubt on the Investigation Discovery Channel. He will be featured on two upcoming episodes of the series, re-evaluating crime scenes and evidence in cases where family members believe their loved ones have been wrongfully convicted. I was looking at the whole thing, but for me, my area was looking at the physical evidence and seeing is what the family is claiming possible or is it important. They truly are looking at an investigation with no bias. Really, it's the opportunity to, to take a fresh look at something to ensure that, that the justice system worked the way that it's intended to work. While his day job often involves teaching students to explore the minute details of a crime scene, one of Wilson's major hobbies finds him exploring other things beneath the surface. Probably my, my favorite hobby is scuba diving. Um, I've been diving close to 20 years. You never know what you're going to see. And, and I see there is a correlation there um, because in law enforcement, in police work, you never know what you're going to get. Wilson says he plans to take a bit of a breather this summer after having successfully defended his dissertation. But he says the pursuit of knowledge and truth will be a lifelong passion, as well as finding ways to improve the criminal justice program and methods that will enrich students and prepare them for their careers. The design of, of my teaching style really revolves around taking the concepts and the skills that are necessary and applying those to something that's actually happened before.